evening and welcome to a special edition of Valley View News, Election 2008. I'm Rosanna Wu. And I'm Chrissy McQueen. The presidential election between Senators Barack Obama and John McCain drew record numbers to the polls last Tuesday. Here are two reports on the presidential election. The crowd gathered in the Hyatt Regency in Los Angeles for the historic 2008 election. Supporters were pleased to see that Democratic presidential nominee Barack Obama had already taken the lead in many states. The CNN poll of polls says Ohio was projected to be won by McCain by three points, but Obama surged ahead winning the state, making it his first key win for the night. It is now 6.40. Barack Obama has just won Ohio. That means another 20 points for him, now winning at 194 points. The next state to be won by Obama was New Mexico. It is about 6.50 now and Obama has just won the state of New Mexico, putting him at 199 electoral votes. But it wasn't all celebrations as Obama lost to red state Texas. McCain just won Texas, putting him slightly behind Obama at 136. Obama now stands at 207. Humiliating the Republicans even more, Obama won red state Virginia. This is the first time the state has voted for a Democrat in a presidential race since Lyndon Johnson in 1964. The crowd is cheering as they just heard Obama has won the state of Virginia, making him on the lead with 220 points. He's going to win. He's going to win. When I say president, you say Obama. President. McCain's battle came to an end when Obama was given the title of president-elect after reaching 290 votes compared to McCain's 145. And that's the most important thing, that the country right now is finally understanding what direction we need to go in. Words cannot describe what I'm feeling. Landslide. 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 It's been, I don't know, like 11 months since I waited for Barack Obama to get to get this position, that presidency position. And I pledge to him tonight to do all in my power to help and lead us through the many challenges we face. The ballroom floor was flooded with tears of joy, excitement, and hope. Yes, we can. Obama is now the 44th president of the United States and the first ever African-American president. Well, I keep saying to myself over and over again, President Obama, President Obama, it's going to take me a couple of days. This is a glorious evening. All of the young people that are out here is an example of why he won. It's a new generation. What made the difference in this election is that young people came out in record numbers. We are and always will be the United States Come to International citizens also came out to celebrate the election of not only a U.S. president, but a world leader. I'm a citizen from Europe. I'm so, you know, I'm really counting on a lot of new things. And I believe it's so amazing to have a black president. I am so proud of American at this point that they put away all the stereotypes and they're believing in someone that to me hopefully can help all Americans. We are standing in the middle of this party with many of Obama's banners celebrating Obama's victory over John McCain, making Obama the new president of the United States of America. The moon here is absolutely ecstatic as Barack Obama has been elected the first African American president of the United States. The balloons have come down, the confetti is out, and the moon is just one of hope. I'm Simone Lucas of Valley Beach. From Los Angeles, Volunteers are preparing for the election celebration as others are doing some last minute campaigning for Senator McCain by calling undecided voters before the 8 o'clock hour hits. Hello, this message is for Mr. Gregory Williams, I'm Oscar de Valle, a volunteer at Republican headquarters. Some young voters predicted who they think is going to win the election. John McCain. When some McCain supporters were asked, what if Senator Barack Obama is elected, they responded with, He will serve one term. You can't raise taxes in a recession. 
You can't raise taxes when the American people don't have jobs. But after news broke out about who is the new president, silence hit the room. Congressman Buck McKeon quickly made way to the front of the room to reassure his fellow Republicans. My hope is that the president, the new president, will understand how serious these things are and will do all the things that he said during the campaign and really reach out and try to bring everybody together to work on these issues. It's 10 past 8 and the announcement has already been made that Barack Obama is now our new president which has left some Republicans shocked because of the quick results. At the Santa Clarita Republican headquarters, I'm Desiree Reyes. And now here's Talia Hassan with some more reactions on the results on the 2008 presidential election. As the final results rolled in, the Republicans lost their enthusiasm. Obviously, I'm disappointed in the outcome of the presidential election. But many people knew that Sarah Palin and John McCain just couldn't beat George Bush's bad reputation. The presidential race was uh, was to be expected, um, so there were no big surprises there. So now that the Republicans are stuck with a Democratic president, many are saying they're going to make the best of it. I am a diehard Republican. Obama for me is way too far off to the left, and I do have great concerns. But the people have spoken. He is our new leader, and I will stand behind our new leader. But not everyone was so optimistic. Obama wants to raise our taxes. I'm afraid. I don't know what to expect right now. However, many Republicans managed to end the night with a smile. I know it's not a great night. We've got, you know, obviously, you know, not the, not the man we wanted as president. But at least we'll never have to hear the three words, President Hillary Clinton. Uh -huh. so at least we'll take the Despite their disappointment, many Republicans are still willing to stand behind their new Democratic president. However, there are many Republicans that are nervous and waiting to see just exactly what type of change Barack Obama will bring to the United States of America. At the Republican headquarters in Santa Clarita, I'm Talia Hassan for Valley View News. When we come back, a report about the student credit crisis. And we will take you to the recent job fair held at CSUN.